Welcome for the homework for lesson nine. This is module three of grade one. Get your name on here first. Make sure you get, get credit for your homework. And look at the picture below. The question is how much shorter is trophy A than trophy B? Now these stripes look like they're all about the same width. So we can count those for measurement. Let's see where, now, the, the big idea with this picture is that A might look like it's taller because it's up higher. But it doesn't mean it's necessarily taller than trophy B because it's starting higher than trophy B. So just because it looks like the top of it is higher doesn't mean it's necessarily longer. So let's look at what we count it. A is going to be one stripe two stripes and three stripes so if a is three and those are our units we'll call our here it's talking about units we're going to talk about stripes for units and for b we've got one two three and really it's almost four four whole stripes so if this is four units and this is three units then trophy A is one unit shorter than trophy B. Even though it looks like it's taller because it's up, it's up higher on the picture, that doesn't mean that it's longer. And now we're measuring objects with centimeter cubes. And the same kind of thing here is like we have, this one looks like it's sticking out farther because, you know, it's farther from the end of the paper. It looks like it's sticking out more, so it might be longer, but it, it also it doesn't the endpoints don't line up here. Right? This the uh, other end of the shovel doesn't line up. So if the endpoints aren't matched up, it's you can't just look at one end of it. You have to make sure the endpoints are matched up and, and count the measurements. So I'm gonna erase this. Clean that up. And we have to get some centimeter cubes here. That should be plenty. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Oh, and I need one more. Seven. So the red shovel is seven centimeter cubes. And now let's measure the green shovel. And I'm going to take the same cubes and just move them. One, two, I bet they're going to be close. Maybe the same. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Oh, we need another one. Eight. So the green shovel is eight centimeter cubes. Don't forget writing down the units. You need to have that. And now we have a question about it. How much longer is the green shovel than the red shovel? Well, the green one is 8. The red shovel is 7. How much longer is it? What's the difference between 7 and 8? It's one more. So the green shovel is 1 centimeter longer than the red shovel. Use your centimeter cubes to model each problem. 
then solve by drawing a picture of your model and writing a number sentence and statement. Now, if you have centimeter cubes, wherever it is that you're doing your homework, then what you should do is, here's an example. It says Susan grew 15, centi grew 15 centimeters and Tyler grew 11. So you'd get a, a, your centimeter cubes and you'd line up 15 of them. And then that would be Susan's growth. And then you line up 11 right next to it. And then you can count how much longer the 15 is than the 11. So how much more did Susan grow than Tyler? Well, you're going to draw a picture of this. Now I'm not going to use the take out my centimeter cubes. My, I'll do it for this. I'll do it for this one, to, just so you see exactly what I mean. And then you're going to draw a picture, and I'll show you what the picture is going to look like. It's going to look just like the cubes, uh, just like a train of cubes put together. So this is going to take a lot of cubes. So this, this is going to take a little bit of time to get it all lined up. One, two, three. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we need 11 for Tyler. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right. Now I'm going to pause the, I'm going to pause the video. And when it, I restart it, these are all going to be arranged uh, in one in, in a row of 15 and one with a row of 11. All right, so there they are. Uh, this row here would be Susan's, and this would be Tyler's. And you can just count them if you like. Tyler's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And Susan's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And you can see that this is exactly how much longer Susan grew. Because here they would be the same. And Susan has one, two, three, four more. So I'm going to draw a picture of this, and here's what my picture is going to look like. erase some of this stuff up here. Susan, and here's Tyler's cubes. And if you want to draw like little boxes inside to make them look like cubes, you can do that, but you don't have to. What I'm going to do for mine is I'm going to take a bit of a shortcut here and just say that this is 15 centimeters and Tyler's is 11 centimeters. And then this right here this is the that's the more which we counted was four centimeter cubes, so it's four centimeters. Now I need an equation to find out the difference between all of this 15 right, this is all of that is 15. The difference between 15 and 11, so that's 15 minus 11 equals, and we figured out it's 4. So now there, we've drawn our picture of the model, and we wrote a number sentence, and now we need to write a statement. And the question is, how much more did Susan grow than Tyler? So our answer is, Susan grew 4 centimeters more than Tyler. It's important to have these these labels here for your picture. S for Susan and T for Tyler. Don't forget those. And you want to have the lengths written down in there. 
and the more and this four centimeters you want to have all of that you need to have those labels and now we have one more question here but first I have to get rid of these uh, all these cubes uh, maybe not all of them I can maybe I can recycle some of them for this question we have uh, Bob's straw B for Bob and Tom's straw T for Tom is six so I have to get rid of some of these uh, for Tom we only want six right so that's one two three four five six let's get six so I'm gonna get rid of those and for Bob needs 13 right so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so I'm gonna get rid of the last two here so that's what it looks like if you use the cubes uh, so we still have to draw a picture of this so Just make a long strip like that. Now I, I just want to. I, I should probably do this. I should probably show. If you want to actually draw the cubes, I should show what that looks like. If you want to actually draw the cubes one at a time, so if you do that, you want to make the cubes about the same size as you can. And you got to do thirteen of these things: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. You've got to try and make them all the same size when you do it like this. And that makes it, a, it's a lot harder to draw and it's a lot more of a pain. So that these, Tom's six centimeter straw is going to have to be exactly one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to have to match up right here. three four five six Tom Bob so the question is how much shorter is Tom's straw than Bob's straw well here to here they're the same they're both right they're both six centimeters but here's the difference between the two so if Bob's is longer then Tom's has to be shorter. So how much shorter is it? It's the same as how much longer Bob's is. And that's, and we can just write numbers on here too if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to count them. Uh, and then our number sentence is gonna be Bob's, it's the difference between 13 and six. So it's Bob's 13 minus Tom's six and the difference between the two we just counted it seven there's our number sentence and now we need our answer statement Tom's straw is seven centimeters shorter Than Bob's. And there's more. Purple card is 8 centimeters long. A red card is 12 centimeters long. How much longer is the red card than the purple card? Alright, so we need two cards, and I'm just going to draw the picture here. The red card is longer okay so let's call this P for purple and this is going to be the red card the red card has to be longer so that means I want the cent I want these endpoints to match up just like I did when I had my centimeter cubes on the other page see how I had the the, the beginning endpoints line up right here so you could see how much farther one of them sticks out 
you have to have the endpoints match up at one end for that to for that to work. So my picture has to look that way too. So there's my purple one. The purple card is eight centimeters. The red one has to be longer, starting at the same endpoint, so it's going to stick out more. And this is going to be twelve centimeters. So how much longer is the red card? It's going to be that much longer. How many centimeters is that? Well, that's the more, right? So you could write, you could think 8 plus what is going to be equal to 12. You could also write this as a subtraction equation, too. You could say, what's the difference between 12 and 8? So that's 12 minus 8. And that's going to equal that mystery piece that we're trying to figure out, how long that is. Either way, you can, so this one, if you do addition, you can count it up. You can also do the same thing with subtraction. You can use a lot of different strategies to figure it out. But if you count it up, 9, 10, 11, 12, that's four numbers. It's four. The red card is four centimeters longer than the purple card. And Carl's bean plant grew to be 9 centimeters tall. Dan's bean plant grew to be 14. How much taller is Dan's plant than Carl's plant? So we're going to, if you can also draw these going up, because we're talking about how tall something is. And this is going to be Dan's, D for Dan's down here. And I'm going to say that this whole thing, from end to end, is 14 centimeters and then Carl's plant has to start with the same bottom end point right because you want to show that it's not as tall this one is only nine so it's not going to go up as high and that is from end to end that's nine centimeters tall and so what we're trying to find is this piece right here Well, what I, and there's a lot of ways to look at that, but that's the difference right there. So if I use a different color, maybe it will help to show, like here, this would be the more right there. So what is that piece? It's the difference between 14 and 9. So that's 14 minus 9. And you can use a take from 10 strategy for this. Remember that? Right, that's 10 and 4. And I subtract 9. I'm not going to get 9 from 4. I'm going to get it from the 10. So there would only be 1 left there. And then I add the 1 plus the 4 together. Plus 4. Right, and if I write down both equations, it's really 10 minus 9 equals 1. And 1 plus 4 equals 5. So 14 minus 9 is... Five. And that's just showing, this is just showing all the math that you do in your head. If you just have this number bond, that will show me that you did take from 10, and I'll take it. And now we need an answer statement. Dan's plant is 5 centimeters taller. Carl's.